is this a worthy successor to the most iconic New Balance model of all time? Let's find out. Zakabu Sneaker Reviews. Welcome to the channel. My name is Zach. You can call me Zakabu, and I'm here for you and any sneakers you might be curious about. No brand snobbing, no shaming whatsoever. And I've been eyeing this shoe for a while now, man. Ever since New Balance came out with these in the uh, classic Grade A colorway. And yeah, while these are still gray, they're not exactly the same. This is the New Balance 5740 in the Rain Cloud colorway. Right off the bat, I gotta say, the 5740 is easily my favorite new release from New Balance this year, at least design-wise. I'm talking, of course, about new silhouettes and not new colorways of shoes that were released before. And over the past year and a half, we've seen New Balance come out with some new lifestyle models, such as the 327, the 237, the XC72, I think it was called. And of course, these guys right here. From the name alone, it's no surprise that the 5740 is inspired by the most iconic New Balance model of all time, and that would be the 574. More than three decades in, the 574 is still a go-to sneaker for New Balance fans and sneakerheads in general. Even though its appeal is far from declining, the New Balance design team now decided to give it a modernized update, all while staying true to its roots. Take a mix of leather, suede, and breathable mesh, a chunky midsole, plus an unmistakable N logo, and you got yourself a New Balance classic in the making. Up top, you got a mostly suede build with mesh in the most memorable of areas for a New Balance model, most notably that toe van for breathability. Bit of TPU to act as a little heel counter, which again is a nod to the 574 if you guys remember. An outsole that traces back to the trail running roots of the model that inspired it, and that somewhat double-stacked midsole vibe going on, not quite like the Sakai waffle, but very pronounced nonetheless. Speaking of that chunky midsole, let me say it again for the people in the back. Just because a shoe looks chunky doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be anything special cushion-wise or comfort-wise in general. Yeah, don't let that beefy midsole fool you. As much as I love this shoe, it's nothing special cushion-wise. New Balance didn't tweak the foam to make it more plush, but then again, you kind of already expect that from a lifestyle shoe at this price point. If you want a New Balance lifestyle shoe with better cushion, you're better off looking at something like the 990 or maybe a 247. But for what it's worth, the 5740 gets the job done if you're looking for something comfortable enough to wear all day long without thinking twice about whether or not it's too expensive to beat up. Going over the fit real quick, and I feel like these fit true to size. I really do. I went for my usual 9.5, and these fit me perfectly, so I highly suggest going with whatever size you wear for most New Balance lifestyle models. I want to go over the colorway real quick, because as most of you know, colorways can make or break a sneaker. You see, when the 5740s first came out, I believe they have that multicolored thing going on. I wasn't too big on it. It was kind of meh. But then they started putting out the classic colorways like the navy blue joints, cream colored ones, and when the gray day came around, I was like, damn, I gotta have that. Sadly, it was only in limited numbers where I am, so I wasn't able to get it. But shortly after New Balance released uh, the rain cloud colorway anyway, and I figured, yeah, why not? It's probably the closest thing that I can get to it. But is there really a difference between the Grade A colorway and this Rain Cloud colorway? Well, let's just say the Grade A has a more vintage vibe going on with more shades of gray around the shoe and an aged look to the midsole, whereas these guys look a little bit more streamlined. So yeah, it might be a little bit more basic, but that's not to say that it's a bad thing at all. Why? 
because you can wear them with absolutely anything. But yeah, man, this is my favorite new silhouette from New Balance. And while I'm a fan of so many brands of sneakers, all right, I'm, I'm keeping very objective over here on this channel. I gotta say that I think New Balance might have been the most consistent brand this past year in terms of sneakers. With new models, new colorways of classic models, bringing back classic models, you name it. The only thing they suck at, which I absolutely hate, is the marketing in the Philippines, which is probably the reason why they don't have as big of a market here where I am, when compared directly to other places in Asia, or around the world, for that matter. These things go for just a little over $100. I think in the Philippines, it's gonna cost you a little bit over 5,000 pesos. I know that if you buy it in store, some branches will offer you discounts. So if you are interested in grabbing a pair, I will be leaving a link down below in the description box and you'll find my socials there as well. Now, if you found this video helpful in making a decision about these guys right here, or if you just like the content in general, then by all means, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Enable post notifications and share my videos with your friends so we get a nice community going on. And you can also leave your thoughts, suggestions, personal experiences with these guys in the comments section down below as well. Oh, and hey, congratulations to the winners of the 150 subscriber giveaway. I've already personally contacted them. So if you didn't get a message at the time of this video, um, no hard feelings, you know, we're gonna have more giveaways as long as the subscriber count keeps going up, as long as this community keeps on growing. So yeah, by all means, please do help me grow this community. I really look forward to making more videos for you guys and I really, really appreciate all the support. My name is Zach, you can call me Zach Boo. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.